Okay, just let it fall down I think, just slowly, very slowly. Yeah, make it spent new uh, they got one piece of the ground. I'm a piece. Jamen, det kan godt sejle alligevel. Det skal ikke lide. Jeg prøver lige at komme ned. Ja, hvis jeg... Yes! Fuck yeah! Det var ude at sejle for første gang i gang tid. Det er et år. Næsten. Tonight is um, the light that comes through the darkness is also looking at um, something that's dark, dark event, and trying to celebrate the light that's inside it also. Events and tiny little details and things that happen <laughs> every day of our life, you know, every moment, things can happen that can change you and create a trauma, some obviously terrible event maybe in your childhood, maybe throughout your life, maybe recurring things, is because we're human, because we can think, because we can reason, and we can understand the importance of our own traumas and try and talk about them and put them into paintings and, and realize that, you know, we're all in this collective event that we go through throughout life. So, you know, that we should celebrate and, and, uh, and share with other people. It is up here, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This is exactly right. Okay. So the E flat is on its own. Yes. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I kind of did it. Anyways, like that. I might, yeah, do a bit more things in the concert. I'm a bit of a spontaneous performer, but um, yeah, is there anything like that you want me to do more or less or? Yeah, actually, I think uh, I think um, there's a certain place where you could actually give it some more power. Okay, um, yeah. And uh, I, I would think, love that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Just yes. yeah, go totally crazy. Okay. Um, is it in this one? Yes, I think it was. Uh, is it the yeah. yeah, that would be so super nice. Okay. And also, um, and also here as well, the chords can really, really build up. You can take the uh, so lower, lower power. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Is that exactly. Okay? As well. Exactly. Exactly. Title of a book, but it wasn't. It's not about the book. It's just about the. I just love that title so much. It's just, 
it's so beautiful because it's like all these connections between people and um and just it's all the light it's like all the light we cannot see like all the all the beauty mm. within basically mm. so that's it kind of became that kind of piece as well yeah. so it's or very nice. yeah it's very emotive and very uh very just about um i guess connections and uh, yeah. and inner beauty Ja. Der Wurst kommt, ja, der Fint. Es wird ein neues Teaching Room, eigentlich. Teaching Studio. Ja. Wir sind in der Toilette. Bathroom. Und, äh, uh, Main, Main Room. Und, äh, es ist ein kleines Loft, Sleeping Area. Und dann werden wir eine große Terrasse auf it. And um, that's where we'll be able to play for the pigs. Musical pork. Yeah, 204, that was as big as I could order. So basically, I've already noticed a little bit of damage on the inside of one uh, in there. Okay. Some paintwork in there. We need one, I'll try and get bigger than that, right? Yes, and then they screw, they screw the whole way up. Yeah, and you know, I mean, it's an investment. If we need to go out and buy, yeah. 30 or uh, whatever you need. Uh, all right, yeah. it's for windows, isn't it? But are these not. Um, nope, this one is. Uh, oh, that's enough. Right. Just a little higher. Can you yeah, swap it? Yeah, that's okay. Can we swap it? He said, can we uh, so, go um, a little higher? Yeah, I just want to swap with it. Yeah. Oh, there's a very little too good. Yeah. Okay, towards me. Okay, you ready to lift? Yeah. 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 Fucking... <laughs> okay. the old terrace here so if you can imagine be faced with these like this one on top of each other I think it's gonna look fantastic really good it's gonna be faced with black wood all the leftover terrace, actually. We'll use the terrace strips that we ripped out because we don't need that much wood. And I think I'm going to try burning them. So Japanese style. Should be good. It'll, it'll be really great. And if burning doesn't work, I'll just paint it black. But I'd rather, to, I'd rather try to do it black uh, charred. Yeah. So the green will disappear. Yeah, it won't be green. It won't be green. No way. Okay. But it's fun. Did it improve though? Uh, yes, it's very fun using old screws that um, uh, don't work half the time. 
and then uh, but you know what reusing we're saving saving the planet screw by screw it's true. and it's a creative place right so yeah that's like, right you gotta you gotta make it work no it's, it's really good I, like saving stuff like this you save a lot of money and you are actually helping out so it's much yeah, better that's nice. okay I think you could get the whole thing. In. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, oh, it's very, it's stuck on this edge now. Okay, that's right, I'll lift it. Good start. Hang on, I can get it in. I can get it in, I'm lifting it. She's stuck on this edge here. Okay, it's good. Getting there. If you think a hundred years ago, there was no way for someone from Texas to just listen to the Vienna Philharmonic every week and really study a style, a particular style, and actually learn that. So I, I would say you have the chance to do your homework if you use your technological tools to your advantage because they're a superpower. Musicians, they are doing the, 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 the most important things for mankind. As in the past, where uh, in the 18th century, uh, you know, Italian musicians were in Austria, in Germany, in Paris, in uh, St. Petersburg, and uh, the other way around, Mozart came to Italy, he learned from the, the, the Neapolitan school. The musicians made Europe, not the euro. <laughs> the, 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 the money, the musicians made at that time. So the musicians are doing the same thing. So let's hope that uh, governments don't uh, forget the importance of culture. One uh, culture uh, brings some water to the other culture and vice versa. I suspect it's always been tough to be a young musician in one sense or the other, but I think right now where governments and institutions are pulling funding and creating an atmosphere that is not particularly positive in the music world, it must be particularly tough for people studying because they, you know, we want to aspire to things, we want to, you know, whether they're mentors, whether they're orchestras we want to play in. And as we see these things, as we see orchestras or opera houses being cut back and, and hear from, inevitably from teachers of all the struggles in the professional world, I think students need um, to be looked after even more than before. And so having um, things that are outside, in maybe institutions that are outside the normal setup, that where young musicians can learn 
have time and really focus on actually what this is all about, which of course is the language of music and expressing human condition issues um, and, and communicating them to other people as opposed to all the worries about how one might have a career. I think if we can refocus the whole educational environment on this, um, that would only be a good thing.所以你就要，而且你不能太下来，你要上去，就这样。对，然后，然后你这儿才可以再下来也可以。刚开始，刚开始我看你的时候，你要是那种，嗯，你在说什么，就是感觉，啊，然后呢，然后到后面的，我，你刚开始的呼吸时候，不要一下就出来，哇，就不要一下出来。我觉得是不是要在你唱完
you you should like you have to catch the chicken. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but you yeah. don't have to touch it because we have a net. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll show you. Where are they? <laughs> Where are they? Ah, here. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, I have to. Very slowly. Okay. Uh -huh. Walk from that side uh -huh. this way. Okay. So, so you, I just you, you scare them. Side. And you walk along the road. And. And push them also towards me. So okay. Be careful because if you walk this way, they'll go forward. You have to walk yeah, around I the back. Yeah, I think it's she, uh, okay. she or he. Yeah. Just fantasize for a while that it's totally irrelevant to the whole process. And since everybody in the whole entire universe has always agreed that luck is the single most important quality in the entertainment business, which we're talking about, then why worry? There's no chance that anything you consciously can do can have any effect. So just go out be the best you can be, do what you like to do, try to be successful, and whatever that means to you as your life grows and changes, and, and be prepared that you might be not able to make a living doing it. It's not such a bad thing to be able to acknowledge that at some point in your growth as a musician. I think that it's enough that the people who need to be discovered exist. I don't really think it's that important in the scheme of things that they be acknowledged or recognized. It's just they're two different things. One is classical music, the art, and other is classical music, the industry. And they have nothing to do with each other. Um, so what, 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 what was one? Cable. It's a loose cable. Something, um, this cable's not something's going on in here or in here let's see I've not overlapped anything let's see this one is just like an automatic I don't know whether this has anything to do with anything can you just take that off then no no oh, that has to be there and what's this this is the ground no what is oh that's connected to this all right get out of the way, get, get out of the way. all right huge one but maybe that was the normal one what you had before. I mean, it feels. Oh, like that was a bad one. Is that good? Oh, okay, that's not coming. It came through then. I feel something's moving. What? Are you Come on. 
Bloody hell. Det er hundgrisen. Det er fucking heavy. Det er det er det er den nyeste The commission that I came here to work on specifically is for the Royal Danish Orchestra and the Royal Danish Theatre. It's a celebratory piece to celebrate their 575th anniversary. It's a chamber commission for 11 musicians and it'll be premiered in September in Den Gamle Scene. Since it's an oldest orchestra in the world, I'm starting with trumpets and percussion. More specifically, timpani, because that's how the orchestra started out, with 12 trumpets, 6 trombones, and timpani. They started off as the Trumpet Marine Corps for Christian I's court. And it was very militaristic sounding, and it was very, uh, very simple music, so I'm kind of emulating that in this opening, uh, in this opening phrase here. And also something I think that would be interesting was um, to signify 575, the number as uh, 5. <laughs> translating that number into a, into a musical motif. Um, so every, every time the, uh, the instruments have an entry, they begin with that motif. And it becomes more complex and more modern as it, uh, as it reaches 2023. Yeah, that's what I usually do, uh, is just um, improvise on a idea or a few ideas. And then I kind of just develop the piece as it goes on. Um, and whatever I feel uh, matches that specific moment in time in the piece. So it's, oh, yeah. it's definitely the most challenging piece that I think of probably going to undertake. <laughs> That's cheap chop you all have to Chickens. See? Yeah, that's really important. Should we do the same with this one? Oh. 
Actually, my rice turned out really good. Of course, your rice made the whole meal. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't forget the fish, <laughs> which I fished, I made. This <laughs> rice is amazing. Actually, I think especially with people who are less um, less used to classical concerts, they have such a fresh imagination. Yeah. And the reactions are so pure and real in a way. Mm -hmm. And it's it's so much more relaxed and less tense. Or like there's there's no limits of reactions in a way. I also believe in some way it affects our performing as well. I think the spontaneity that we gain from these outreach concerts we can take into our more regular concerts, like feeling more free and creative on the stage, not just performing what we've been rehearsing. I mean, it's very different, but in a way I enjoy it more than on big stages because I feel so much closer to the audience and I feel I can create a very intimate space to experience each other and um, I mean obviously music is my medium of expression and I have absolutely no filters in that and I kind of just invite the audience to um, get to know me and in all of like with all the different sides that I have to me um, through through that language and I think nowadays we all should like, I, I sometimes feel that we lose each other, also as a community. And I like to bring people together, to b bring people much closer to each other. And I think one of the ways to do that is just to be authentic and just to share your life story in a way um, without polishing it or without making it sound greater or less great than it is. I have taken friends to concerts who have no idea or who have never been to a classical concert before. And people just go on stage, they play, you don't know what they're playing, you don't understand what's going on, they leave and that's it. And you just, I think a lot of people just feel lost and uncomfortable in that um, environment. <laughs>
<laughs> then we have the like also Kaya's fears about a very very innocent animal called the butterfly, <laughs> um, which suddenly just is uh, the most. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So that Sorry, maybe it's a bit loud, but I, I just... Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's what I meant. <laughs> Did you see it coming? No, no. Yeah, the party guys. This is maybe a bit off topic, it's not specifically on the education, but I noticed that, and I'm not an angel myself, but it's we're not that good at supporting each other as students at concerts. Mm. And it's not that I'm a super attender either, um, but I'm, I'm quite shocked when I then attend a concert or when I play a concert, how few students are actually there so to, to support. and. It's also when we look at the ordinary concerts, where the actually classical music enthusiastic young people, I mean, mm. people who play classical music themselves, why, where are they? And in a way, the classical music industry is actually quite small. We're not like a huge industry. We're quite small, so why not help out each other? Why not try and give context to our friends? Make a call, try and help out. And I think actually our careers, especially for young artists, would accelerate so much more if we helped each other. And I mean, this was the spirit back in the days of Yehudi Menuhin, of creating a school, a place of a family. And also he performed a lot with his students on stage, which obviously was incredible for them. Thank you. 